Hi. I'm Jessica. And I'm Claudia. And we are the lesbian stereotype who uh, moved in together on the third date and got engaged after like four months mm, mm. and got married quite quickly and spent every moment of every day together. Yes. Much like most people are doing in the lockdown right now. <laughs> so a tweet the Good other day. Good thing we liked it. Good thing we like Good it. Good thing we enjoy each other, yeah. So a tweet the other day that was like, all relationships are now either long distance or 24 seven. So now we are all lesbians. <laughs> but we thought in uh, this period of enforced isolation together, actually amazing and I love it. Mm. And I was like, we we'll probably only have like six weeks more together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got sad the other day thinking about life returning to normal I was like you're having to go to work. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, oh, like where was it? Norway? No, Denmark. Yeah, yeah Denmark. Denmark is like, re like lessened its like lockdown already. And I was like, oh, maybe that will happen here. And I was like, oh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we'll have to spend eight hours a day apart again. We thought we'd check uh, just to make sure that we actually do know each other as well as we think we do. Yeah, I mean, how long have we been together? Five and a half years. Mm -hmm. Quite a while. We should know each other pretty well, and we spend all like all of our yeah. I'm not sure there's anything time we together, don't pretty talk much. about as well, which is like amusing because I'm deaf and Claudia can't but speak I'm not bored particularly of you. well. Huh? I'm not bored of you. Oh, I'm not bored of you either. Oh, good. Hmm. But there are many things that you know about me that I do not know about myself because I have no self-awareness. So <laughs> I think if there are any questions in this quiz that come up and you and have I'm the like, wrong no, answer, yeah. it's actually you have the right answer yeah, no. and I input the wrong yeah, answer I'll just the first explain time. to you why you're wrong and you'll be like, <laughs> oh yeah. So I've done the questions first and now we're going to see whether Claudia gets them right. All right. How well do you know Jessica? Please. Oh, enter your name. Oh, please enter my name. <laughs> Beyonce. That's the example, Why apparently. Why give example Amy and then Beyonce? Claudia. Question one. Is the idea of one true love something Jessica can believe in? Yes. Well. Question two. Would Jessica rather be without the internet or without a means of transportation? Uh, without a means of transportation? <laughs> where, are you, where are you going anyway in this lockdown? Which extreme travel destination would Jessica prefer? I mean, that's like an this oxymoron. This a tricky one. <laughs> <laughs> that whole sentence is just wrong. The Sahara Desert, the North Pole, the South Pole, Amazon jungle. Ah, Christ. <laughs> the Amazon jungle? I'm going to go with that. I don't know. You said the North Pole. I yeah, did say the North I would have, Pole. Yeah, that makes sense because you could see like the Auralis, Aurali yeah. Borealis and the Aurora Borealis. There we go. That's the one. Yeah. So clear. That was the only. Was that the only? The thing only I thing I. Had. Oh, so it's like when you tick, when you get it, like you get your marks back for an exam, yeah. and you're like, oh, that was so. Like I knew that. I, why did I tick that yeah. B when I knew it was A? Question four. Jessica would rather have a partner who eats all the snacks without sharing or who watches all the best Netflix shows alone. Snacks without sharing. Obviously. I'm a bit annoyed that you've watched Grey's Anatomy already. Oh, but I didn't. I watched that before I knew you. <laughs> Still, oh. we can't discover it together. I think you're almost up to where I got up to. Like, yes, we can watch series. from season eight together. Yeah. <laughs> really into Grey's Anatomy right now, okay. Question five. If Jessica could sleep with a celebrity, who would it be? Angelina Jolie, Rachel Half of Adams, these are male, by the way, Miranda so you could just Kerr, knock them out right now. Beyonce, Tom Hardy, Channing Tatum, George Clooney, Leonardo DiCaprio. Hmm. I'm like hovering over Rachel Adams, but I don't think she's your type. That's more my type. I who think... do you think is my type on this list? I don't even know who Miranda Kerr is. <laughs> You're okay. okay. Look, look, it's a list of eight people. Angelina Jolie. Four of them are male, so they're off the Hello, list. No, I know you don't fancy Angelina Jolie either. But she's more like, kind of like, Lara Crofty than, you know, Rachel Adams, who's a bit more like, mumsy. I'm gonna go for Yeah, Claudia's type is mumsy. Oh no, you didn't Rachel Adams! <laughs> I did, I did, because I would have wanted to go for Angela and Jolie, but I, she would scare me. I know she would scare you, yeah, but like. Yeah. Question six. Would Jessica rather be too busy or too bored? Easy. Too busy. Where would Jessica rather live? France, Italy, Japan, Brazil, Australia, Sweden? This uh, was tough, Sweden. This one. Ah! That's not tough. Damn, you know me. I mean, you've got Swedish heritage. You like the climate there. Uh, they do four day working week and they've got a good welfare system. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. If we could move to Sweden and have our babies there right now, I would be down. Yeah. Question eight, which would Jessica prefer? Apple, Android? Uh, Apple. <laughs> <laughs> Question nine, would Jessica rather be able to fly or be invisible? 
Or there's another random option there saying, Ra rather stay perfectly normal. Well, that one's out. Yeah. <laughs> I think you'd rather fly. Yes, you're right. Because all I really want is the ability to move or go places. 10. Do things. If Jessica had a time machine, she would travel to the past and meet ancestors or travel to the future and meet grandchildren. I think she'd rather meet her ancestors. Oh, your face. <laughs> Sorry, give it okay, away. Okay, featured grandchildren. <laughs> Okay. We talk about this all the time. I know, but we both like want history, spoilers. Like I love history, but I want spoilers okay, okay. for my life. Question 11. Which is more important to Jessica, love or money? Mm, this is a hard one. Nah, love. <laughs> <laughs> Question 12. Which, which movie genre would Jessica prefer? Romance, horror, adventure, comedy, drama slash documentary, Animation. She's gonna show. By the way, animation is not. Anyway, you can have all of those things mm. be animated. Animation itself is not a category. This is gonna show how well you actually really know me. <sighs> tricky, I know. Tricky, tricky. I'm gonna tricky. go for adventure. Ah! You know me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's because you love like um like things like um, Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious. Any and kind of thing. Like action Drama, adventure Drama, thriller, blood. Jumanji, <laughs> Jumanji 2. Right. What would make Jessica most happy? More sleep, less work, more time with friends and family, breath of fresh air, traveling somewhere away from home, more wealth. More time with friends and family is what you would probably know you should put, but I think if you were being honest with yourself, say more wealth. <laughs> And you know why? Because <laughs> money means you can have all of those other things. You know in that like rich house, poor house TV show, which yeah. is basically where they get a rich family and they and they're like, a poor does family money and they buy like, you happiness? switch lives for a week. Yeah, and it's like, is it better to be wealthy or to have nothing but, oh, you're a close family. And it's like, I'm so sorry. No, the poor family, like their parents are working 20 hours a day. <laughs> they yeah. don't see their kids and everyone's unhappy. Mm -hmm. Anyway. You gave the, anyway, sorry. Question 14. <sighs> Just the kind of thing they say to keep the masses down, you know? Makes to me Jessica, angry. Jessica, love is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Complex. Everything. Confusing. Worthwhile. Uh, everything. <laughs> Question 15. Would Jessica prefer Coke or Pepsi? Did you like make this quiz? Can you put it in your own question? I did not make this That's quiz. Crazy. Uh, I think Coke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the 180 cans downstairs might have something to do with it. Yay, calculator result. Your score is 13. Oh my god. 13 Still out of 15. High five. Still high five. Mine, I, mine was like, the first one was like only seven questions. <laughs> it's this one. And then the next one like had 10, so like I did two. Okay. <laughs> Why did mine not work? I'm sorry, your quiz did not work. Alright, do your But one. you did another quiz, so <laughs> we're good. Okay. And see your name. My name is Jessica. Stop. Would I kill someone? You're answering for questions for Claudia. No, I got that. <laughs> Would saying... Claudia kill someone? <laughs> Your quiz is a bit different to my quiz. I mean, it's not like you get into an angry rage and kill someone. What kind of a question is it? No. If I had a time machine, I would. Travel to the past and meet ancestors. Travel to the future and meet grandchildren. Let bloody go and meet our grandchildren. Would I rather live without internet or cell phone? You are answering a question for Claudia. Well, you regularly put your phone down and walk away from it and forget about it for hours on end, but you research intensely mm -hmm. and need the internet to do that mm. for your many hours. So you need internet. Yes. <laughs> you would live without your cell phone. Definitely. Oh. Oh, my quiz is, my quiz sucks. <laughs> the internet does not want you really to know you. Oh, okay. Right, how would I like to call my partner? Ooh, okay. The options are babe, by name. I find it really weird when you say my name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because you so rarely say my name. I know, I do say your name. I say Jessie. 5% of the time right. when you're addressing me, do you right, say well, my five. name. So not that. Pumpkin. That's what you call me. You're my pumpkin. Sometimes you call me princess, I'm like, no, I'm not a princess. Uh, that is a mistake. Princess is Tilly. We know that Tilly is the princess, I'm sorry. And today I told Jessica, like, when she wants someone, please don't start it with, can you be such a sweetheart? I was like, can you just tell me to go get something if you want something? Don't say, you She don't doesn't always... even want me to say please. She just <laughs> I like, say order please. me. I want you to say please and thank you. I just don't want you to go, could you be a sweetheart? Because it just sounds really like, I don't know. I think it's just how my family dress each other. Can, Can you it? be a darling and 
get that for me? I don't know, it sounds a bit like manipulative. Manipulative. It's like, if I didn't go get it for you, am I therefore not a darling now? Well, we can discuss my <laughs> childhood later. Hun, <laughs> or I don't have a partner. <laughs> Would, Not you, that one. would you call your partner? I've got a partner. This is really difficult because you call me Baba, which obviously is none of these. Or Bobby. Indeed. She calls me Baba or Bobby. Um, but, I mean, babe is the closest, but babe is awful. I don't call you babe. You don't call me babe. Babe! <laughs> but you don't call me pumpkin or hun. No. Am I going to have to put my name? <laughs> you just put my name. I did, yeah. Okay. <laughs> 5% of yes, the time. Yes, more than 5%. You obviously just don't hear it the 95% other times. Well, I'm deaf, <laughs> so. <laughs> For some reason you hear Bobby more than Jessica or Jesse. I think it's Je a it's terrible like Jess name for a deaf person. It's like Jesse, it's like, she, it's quite high, isn't it? Whereas Bobby. Jeff. Bobby, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Especially like Jess. I cannot hear Jess. I don't say Jess. At all. I know you don't because no one should call me Jess ever. I really hate it. But like Jess, it's like yes. It's just it's just lost in the <laughs> sea of How do I show love? Oh what is your love language? Through words. Yes. We do say I love you about a hundred times a day. Yeah, but it's not really original way of coming up with <laughs> showing you how I show my love. No, I love you. No. Uh, through touch, you are very touchy feely. Mm. Lots of touching. Through gifts. I buy you stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I make you show I, cook, I do all the cooking. Is that not a gift? No, it's an expectation. That's, no, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's married life. <laughs> Through things I do, that would be cooking. Mm -hmm. Or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I did hover over I don't know. <laughs> Quite a while. I think the way that you actually show love is through touch. Mm. Because you're very, not in a bad way, clingy. <laughs> How can clingy not be in a bad way? It's just such a bad because way. Because I don't mind. <laughs> I'm a limpet. <laughs> yeah, you are, but I think it's cute. Put a nice accessory. You just like... <laughs> <laughs> it gets attached and I think it's adorable. Mm. So, but I think you wouldn't have put that down because you don't like that about yourself. I think you would put through things I do. Okay. Am I wrong? Got wrong. Oh, what did you put? Touch. No! Well I do. done. I'm, well done. I can't believe I might candle you. <laughs> I know you do, exactly. Like, I just thought you wouldn't you write know, it. I hold your, it's like your bum, or like, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is generally how close we are at all times around our house. <laughs> yeah, like half an hour's gone past, we're like, where are you? <laughs> Baby! Would I rather be able to speak any language in the world or be able to read minds? Speak any language in the world. Yes. Well done. Including English. Uh, Including English. What is my eye colour? <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate brown. <laughs> I imagine if you didn't know that one. Oh god, I don't know. What is my favourite colour? Red, blue, black or pink? None of these. Your actual favourite colour is green. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. I know that you're <laughs> going to put, put blue and that blue is the right yeah. answer. And you mainly wear blue. But does blue make you happy when you see it? Or does green make you happy when you see it? So the point is, your favourite colour is my favourite colour is blue. I do like green too, yeah, that's true. Green is the happy colour of your soul. Oh, okay. But you'll have put blue. Apple or Android? Uh, Apple, but only through necessity, because that's what you have. Yes. To me, love is dead. Complex. Everything. Confusing. Worthwhile. Worthwhile. <laughs> love is worthwhile. Love is everything. Yes. Oh. Mwah. Like, we're glad we shared that. You got know, 90%. 90%. So I think we get the same. 13 out of 15 is 90%, mm. isn't it? I know. It's yeah. roughly. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we love each other. See, there's some things we're not absolutely 100% sure of. So, you know, that's why. Well, this is wonderful. We're going to be fine for another six weeks of lockdown. Exactly. <laughs> I intend to spend the next 60 years of my life with you. So glad there are still things to learn. <laughs> also, our opinions might change. Oh yeah. As you say, my new favourite colour is now green, apparently. It's I never know. Green, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh. you so much for joining us with this mush fest. You can follow us on Instagram for more of this mushy lesbian stuff. 
cheesy stuff. <laughs> Sometimes us. I write it and I post it and then I'm like, oh my god. And our friends make fun of us. <laughs> but we can't help it, okay? Yeah. Anyway, that's at Jessie and Claude. And thank you so much. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and leave us a comment with the next questions that you think we should answer about each other. Dun, dun. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.